kittens. Hello, Seraphina. That's my favorite lady. Hey, Billy Wig. Hey, Kami. Hey, Niffler. So crazy. Crazy wig. Fuzzy butt wiggles. That was the best response yet. You hear my boy walking around, huh? Billy Wig fell asleep in my lap last night. Nifflers pooping. Leave your brother alone. She's not alarmed to be upside down. I think she just doesn't like it. 
It's the not a large part that I work on. Gave Mama a claw trim yesterday. Good boy, Niffler, covering up your poop. If you're interested in adopting Serafina, you need to use one of the high-sided litter boxes. Because if something touches Mama's tail, her butt goes up. Niffler will probably need a high-sided or covered box because he's a kicker. And he fell asleep in my lap again. Chatter commented that I have some crazy topics to conversation and chat on my cam. I encourage that. Chat here is not all about kitties. All, of, all I ask is that it remains civil. Or what your territory considers civil conversation. And always follow the advice of the moderators. When's the next weigh-in? Whenever, whenever I remember to bring the scale in. I was trying to remember it yesterday. They're all over two pounds. Very true, Wendy. She said, unless the topic is to, on to whether or not pineapple belongs on pizza. Personally, I like pineapple on pizza. I don't order it that way, but if somebody else does, I will eat it. I like the Supreme. I also like getting double Italian sausage with onions. Don't play in the litter box, Niffler. I forgot to scoop the box when I came in, so I'll scoop it when I leave. Post poop zoomies. Yep, Billy Wig's awake, thanks to Mama's tail. Mama's tail tends to be the original cat toy. 
or the cat toy kittens play with first. Hmm. Oh, Wendy, you know you're sorry, not sorry. <laughs> in saucy mode. Glad I trimmed them. Cam three, there's a fly buzzing sound. That's cam three, I think. I can never remember. I need to put a post it under four, three, or three, four. I have, actually have the number written on top, but I can't see it from this angle. It's what cam three is whatever the cam number in the description or where it shows up in the cam list. You hear you hear Diana. so I can't call Chris and say, let's do a Dorian visit or a test. Let's do it in a little bit or tomorrow. You better get your mouse back. They like to go right underneath the cam to play, where pretty much nobody can see them. Dorian is not at the door. He's on the... well, now he's coming towards the door, because he's getting louder. He was in the living room over there. Go get him. Corn on pizza. I'm, okay, I feel to, towards corn on pizza like people feel towards um, pineapple on pizza. But one thing about corn, you can always tell that you had it. B-Rex and Nakia visit are very unlikely. I go into why in yesterday's visit, if you want to watch that on Brook IV3's channel, I think it's around 20, 23 or 26 minutes in, or I can find out. It's 
about a little before 30 minutes in, because at 31 minutes is where I do a demonstration with Billy Wig on, on Nakia's popcorn attack. And that probably would not go well in here. I need a non-responsive cat, uh, kittens doing bappy things. Slow, mom. Dutch Eve, only the shell of corn is undigestible. The meat or center is digestible. Of corn. You got it? You killing it? See, that's sometimes the secret of getting a kitten used to being upside down, is distracting with a toy. Billy Wig looked at the mouse and Niffa growled. Why do they need to be comforted, comfortable with being upside down? It, it encourages their trust response with people. It makes them less fearful if somebody were to handle them. Is if they're if they're fine with being upside down with belly up, they'll be fine being handled in most situations. I really pushed it, encouraged it with the five guys because the best way to clean their eyes was to have them upside down. And I knew that would make cleaning their eyes easier for their adopters. And I know that 
Emily still does that with her kids. Her kittens. Zero and Felix, previously Pickles and Tomato. I'm going to try to get Billy Wiggs pictures posted today. Yesterday was like a perfect storm of crap, work-wise. As much as I like pizza, there's certain ingredients in main, mainstream pizza that my body no longer tolerates. I can't have Pizza Hut, Domino's, I can have Papa Murphy's. And usually restaurants that only deal with pizza, I can typically handle those. I think it's something to do with the quality of the ingredients and if there's fillers and stuff. Tracy, I don't know what that is. I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> There's a restaurant, pizza restaurant in Bellevue. I'm not sure if they closed or not. That I was able to handle. Some of the local, smaller local businesses down there were closing down earlier this year. Dorian has not come yet today. Somebody found somebody's old collar, pink with bunny rabbits. Probably somebody I had for a while and they outgrew the collar. Now it's a toy. You want to be a moderator? <laughs> I love how he stands up.
dummy will pick up these soccer balls with both paws. She's not batting it around. Goliachi Pizza. Go to a local chain. I don't think I have a, I'm not sure if I have a gluten intolerance or an intolerance to cheap ingredients that use some different kinds of random fillers. Like I seem to have better luck with ice cream. That's more expensive ice cream, higher quality cream. Ice cream bars will put a massive hurt on me in like 20 minutes. You know, the ones that don't really melt in the sun. What's the view outside the window? Outside. There's some trees, a road, a sidewalk. Occasionally people walking dogs. Crows. Power lines. Sky. Lawn. R a roof right outside the window over the garage. This is the second story. You asked. The cheap ice cream bars that you can get at grocery stores somebody sat one out in the sun and it didn't really melt shows you it's not really had much ice cream in it I haven't been to Mod Pizza yet. There's a Five Guys right next to a Mod Pizza, and I always end up going to Five Guys. But there is a Mod Pizza closer to me now, and it's next to a Quiznos and or a Kidoba, and I tend to always go to Kidoba. And part of me just doesn't want to be disappointed. It's like I go there and they have great pizza, but I just can't tolerate it. That would be disappointing. Are you trying to open a window? You can't open that window. It's locked. She's checking out the curtain. The wooden bar there is just for show. If somebody climbs up on the roof, they'll, they'll see that and discourage it. If they do get the window open, they'll only allow it to be open that far, which is the width of the AC um, out vent. I 
do have screens up too. Little Caesars, I can't eat Little Caesars. That's that'll kill me. It's very cheap and it's very greasy. confused I'm making bird noises and I'm not a bird hey Chris yeah you got a moment depends on how quick this moment will be well, well I was thinking if we got time to do a Dorian visit real quick okay so I was waiting for my, I didn't have my phone so I was waiting for him to come out of his room we're going to try a Dorian visit. Are you ready for it? Now she'll probably come right to the door and start pissing and swatting and stuff like that. Really, you need to be on this side. Just keep a hold on him. Mama has not seen him yet. Look, there she goes. Okay. Okay, we got our answer there. He's still. Right. What, Chris? He's purring. Dorian's purring. See, he's non reactive. Mama either doesn't like other cats or is still quite in protective mommy mode. So it'll be, we'll try again in a week. And if she still reacts like that in a week, then she doesn't like other cats. She was going, ah! And I had my hand above her to keep her from jumping over the fence. That's why I also had the broom there. In case she actually gets in a scrap with him, I could separate her using using the broom. And this also answers the question about Nakia and me visiting. Nope. We don't have any updates on peanut and relish. How would she react if it, she didn't have the kittens here? I have no way to know that. She would have to be without the kittens for a while for her reaction to change. But she would be she would do absolutely fine as a single cat because she is very good at entertaining herself. You can just watch her playing. She doesn't really play with the kittens that much. She plays by herself. But Mama will be able to tolerate being adopted with one of the kittens. That's probably the only situation where she will tolerate. Yeah, she's definitely, we don't, I can't, we can't tell if she's being protective over her kittens or being aggressive against another cat. Dorian is like the least aggressive cat out there, second to Kugra.
Had there been any new picks on Amber? If I got them, I, I would have posted them. Niffler is not afraid of going up there. I've seen him up there in the window ledge and all that. He probably just thinks there's all the toys are down here. There's no toys up there. Looking out the window just may not be his thing. Are you going to jump in? You're like 10 pounds, mama. Sean and Kurt, what'd you, what'd you guys find? Are you guys playing with some? Oh, straw, okay. Sequins has a page. Oh, and she shares it with oatmeals. If you go to the Critter Room on Facebook and view the pages that the, I like, you'll see all the pay, all the all the fan pages there. Is, seems to be doing quite well. She, um, the way FIP works is that kitties are diagnosed with FIP if they cannot find any other cause for their symptoms. It's, it is not it can, it, the only 100% way to do a FIP diagnosis is post-mortem. I would say if sequins survives two years, there's a very, probably a pretty good chance that she does not have FIP. But the thing with FIP is that one day they're, do they're looking fine, they're acting fine, they are fine, and the next day they're dead. That's just how FIP is. It goes on, it comes on that fast. So every day with the FIP cat is a treasure. leave so be a short short CC now Susie if you try the CC and YouTube keeps eating it ask for to be modded for it and that should fix it Care of the litter box. C 
Serafina does love people. She's very social. Every person she's met, she likes. I have some bad news. We have a casualty in the litter box. Niffler's adopter can get away with a regular, regular sized litter box if they sit it inside of a larger cardboard box. That would catch the litter that he kicks out. That's something I could do in here. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought of that. Billy Wig is changing into Crazy Wig. He needed to pee, that's why. Alrighty, I'm gonna step out now, so enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day. Got another one.